Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment. Taking some more AMC, as you can see, we closed below the 50 MA yesterday. However, in this video, we're going to talk about how that could potentially be a fake out from the hedge funds. We're also going to be talking about what we should be expecting in the next few weeks. And then later on about the technical analysis and how that is important for AMC. So in this video, if you find it useful or liked it, be sure to click that like button down below. It helps this channel out a lot and it also spread this video out to the whole community. So we all understand what's going on and we get stronger and stronger each day. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So what I want to talk about is obviously we saw um, yesterday the price actually ending below the 50 MA, but you know, this could potentially be a fake out and it's important to understand why. But before we get on with that, let's talk about kind of the stats or we're looking at AMC today. So AMC, 900,000 shares available still um, for shares available to borrow for today. And so we could still be, you know, cause right now we're only an hour and a half into the market. Um, depending on where this video goes up, we can obviously see more um, power, basically more short power coming in because we still have 900,000 shares available to borrow. Now, going down here, um, so we're looking at a big difference in kind of in the money calls and in the money put. So for those of you who recall, um, the highest point this week, we were looking at around 114,000 calls in the money, whereas right now we're only looking at 67,000. And the lowest point was around 6,000 for put in the money, but now we're looking at 25,000. So we obviously seen it starting to kind of um, go um, both ways now for in terms of in the money, that's obviously understandable with the price going down. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is pretty much a lot of people has obviously been talking about, you know, how it is bad to buy options for AMC because, you know, ultimately this is not financial advice. So do make sure you do your own due diligence. Take what I say with a grain of salt, make sure you do your own due diligence and research before you go into a stock. But what I want to talk about is obviously, um, you know, everyone understand, or maybe if you don't, um, and what, hopefully this is simple enough to understand pretty much, you know, you obviously are making good money on options. You know, you, you're getting a big percentage from options. However, buying options doesn't actually affect the price. It doesn't actually help towards reaching that end goal, the MOAS, the short squeeze. And, you know, in a way, um, by buying options is actually helping out the hedge funds. And so what I pretty much want to talk about talk is that, you know, if you guys, um, again, this is not financial advice, so make sure you do your own due diligence, but pretty much if you guys want to see the price um, of AMC going up, the best thing you can do is buy shares for AMC um, and not buy options because by buying options, you're allowing the hedge funds to obviously cover um, at a lower rate. And, you know, this is obviously helping them in a way. And so, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this. Now, you know, I get it. Some people are using options to make money. So it is what it is at the end of the day. However, it's just uh, for those of you who didn't know that or who are a bit confused, it's pretty much, you know, in order to help AMC grow, in order to help AMC to stand its ground, firstly, you know, by not selling shares, that's obviously the best thing. Um, by not loaning your shares, I know there are options on um, brokerages where you can choose to not loan your shares because if you choose to not loan your shares, then um, the hedge funds will have less shares to borrow so that they don't have the ability to short um, the shares. And then finally, you know, it's actually buying the share, the actual shares and not the options. Um, and so that is ultimately how you can help out AMC in terms of the MOAS, in terms of the short squeeze. So, and I thought that was important to talk about. Going down here, we're looking at 59.4 short percentage. Um, so that was yesterday. And we're looking at 64.9 percentage. So not that much change in the dark pool percentage, but we see a 5% change in the short percentage. And I do want to talk about because that is important because that, you know, if we look at the volume, if we look at the price action, there is something I want to talk about. Now, do forgive me because I tried to record this video once already, but it turns out I wasn't recording. And so um, I'm trying to pretty much replicate what I said in my last video. Um, now, going on to Twitter, we're looking at Matt course, and you can see here, so short interest, we're looking at 17.03%. Utilization rate, we're looking at 92.95%. And the share zone loan, we're looking at 1610 million increases across the board so that's obviously um good because you know pretty much the shares on loan you know the short interest that means they have to pay more and, and such and such and uh, it's a big increase however you know utilization rate we went from around 89 percent as of last week to 92 percent which is oh 93 percent so you know it's increasing um so this is good and you know this is something we do um want to see because the bigger this gets you know then obviously the bigger the short squeeze will get now 
Going on with, you know, what we'll talk about AMC in terms of this particular um, candle on the 26th yesterday and how this is important. So you can obviously see that we close below the 50 MA for AMC. And, you know, this is not what we want in terms of technical analysis um, because we want to see t um, AMC close above the 50 MA because that will obviously be good for us in a technical analysis. The reason for that is because there are no big fundamental catalysts for AMC as of right now. Um, you know, we are looking at pretty much um, how fundamental uh, or rather how technical analysis can affect the market sentiment. And so by um, good technical analysis, we can obviously have a good market sentiment and that will increase the shares in both technical analysis, but also in kind of the, just the psychology of investors. And so what I want to talk about was we saw um, AMC obviously dropping below the 50 MA. However, the thing I wanted to note out was particularly on the 25th of August, you know, we can obviously see that the share probably, you know, went around um, 10%. And again, yesterday we saw the share go around 10%, uh, if we're not including obviously the gap down. But, you know, we see both days where the shares went down 10%. However, we see a big difference in the volume. So on the 26th of August, we're looking at 109 million in terms of the volume. And on the 25th of August, we're looking at 209 million. So um, 25th of August, obviously double the volume of 26th. But, you know, what does that mean? Well, it obviously means that firstly, what you need to understand is by having the share, the higher the share price is for AMC, you know, the more the hedge funds are fearing that, that, you know, they're very scared when the price gets higher. And so they will do anything they have to be to get the price down. Again, I am not a financial advisor, so do take what I say with a grain of salt. But pretty much, you know, they have to, they are scared and they need to do whatever they can to bring the share down because they don't want AMC to go higher. I hope, you know, you guys can understand that because obviously, by having the price lower, it obviously is benefit to them. And so, you know, some of the tactics we obviously saw was that, okay, this is, okay, I don't want to make it because this this is um, st apparent tactics, so I'm not confirming nor denying. And the 24th of August, where we saw this 20% up, you know, we had um, Jim Kramos who said that this was already the short squeeze. And he said that this 20% surge was already the short squeeze. Now, for those of you who understand, for those of you who are keeping up to date, uh, also, if you want to make sure you keep up to date, click that subscribe button down below. I'll keep you guys up to date all the time. But, you know, there are millions of shares already, obviously, um, hundreds of millions of shares being shorted against AMC. You know, one could even say billions. And if all of those shares were to get covered, you know, we are looking at a way bigger percentage than 20 percent. 20% is obviously very good for a particular day. But, you know, if you compare to the big, the big potential, the MOAS, that is not the short squeeze. So that is something I do want to make it clear. However, you know, it is just um, educated opinion from me uh, for entertainment purposes. But we're look so we're looking at this and I'm talking about the volume and pretty much, you know, the reason why the price can go down, you know, 10% as well, and people might think it's selling, but the reason why I'm saying it, it cannot be selling is because the volume at 100 million, you know, and we see the price going down 10% as of the same as the previous day is because pretty much the apes understand, you know, what's going on. We understand that we need to keep the price as high as possible, even though AMC is going up 20%, even though it's going 30%, 40%, 50%. You know, for those of you who have been watching my videos, I told, you know, I talked about how having a buy order at 3178 was a good place. You know, if you bought in at 3178, you're, you were, you know, you're up 30% at 1.50%. And, you know, so loads of apes understand that even though we're at 50%, we're not going to sell because we need to keep the price at this level. And so, that's why we only saw 100 million in volume because not a lot of people were selling because they understand that, you know, just because we see a 20% gain, we are not going to sell. We are still staying. We are not leaving. However, one of the disadvantages that we are at right now is that us retail investors obviously don't have as nearly as enough money as hedge funds have. And so when we do see opportunities, when we do see times like this, we don't have, you know, billions of money, you know, billions of dollars or even hundreds of millions of dollars to come into the market to buy AMC shares. And so the least we can do is obviously hold our shares. So if you guys think you're not buying shares, you're not helping. If you own shares of AMC, as long as you're not loaning them, as long as you're not selling them, then you know, you are doing um, your duties as the apes. But you know, we don't have people buying, we, we don't have um, as enough disposal income as obviously the hedge funds. And the hedge fund knows that as well. And so that's why they use opportunities like this, where, 
you know, is lower volume, less people can get to buy in. So they try and drag the price down as much as possible. Hence why we're seeing the 59.4 percentage in some of the short percentage. And so by them bringing the price down, um, you know, a lot of people then start thinking, you know, it's people are selling now because like I said, Jim Cramer said that it was a short squeeze. And for those of you who, who maybe are new to AMC, who are maybe new to the stock market, will actually believe him, which, you know, is not their fault because it is a stock guy on television telling you. So why don't you believe him, you know? And because they don't believe that and they see the price going down, they might think the short squeeze is over and so they start selling. And so this is just one of the many tactics that obviously hedge funds use to bring the price down. And like, you know, for, by them bringing the price down, it obviously is beneficial to them and bring, and you know, then it will just create a snowball effect of the price keep on going down and down. And so that is what you want to watch out for. And pretty much end of the day, you know, right now, we need to understand the momentum we have ending this week. So today is very important. We're going to see how it reacts to the 50 MA. Hopefully what we want to see is the price actually ending above the 50 MA because that is beneficial for us. That will show us the momentum we have going into the next week, just like how we saw the last week's Friday, we saw a very nice momentum. That's how I predicted that we're going to see a very nice price action this week. Like you see, um, we are up, you know, so 18% or to the highest point, 40%. But, you know, today can decide whatever next week's momentum is going to be bullish, bearish, or maybe just, um, you know, in the middle. But yeah, guys, that's it for this week, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you think about AMC and comment down below what you want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.